Out there. Proper miserable day for a collection. I was now on the way back down to Gatwick. He left me a card. Dear Jim, just in the card to say the biggest thank you. I am very, very, very happy. All the best, Carl. Good man, Carl. You're very welcome. Pleasure. Clay bar, it'll be blown dry, it'll be brought across on the lift, up in the air, polish it. Before we go on to any polishing on the Porsche, although I am desperate to get started, I am going to tackle the wheels. should end with the sense cap facing the valve. End of the first date on the 964. The wheels have been treated inside and out as well as several areas of wheel weight glue removal. If you think the car currently looks well, it does look well, but as we get in close, don't be fooled because the paintwork condition is pretty dire. Lots of marks to chase out on this one. Guessing it's had a bit of paintwork in its time. It's dull, it's covered in the haze of swirls and it's gonna be a nice transformation store in the gloss. Brilliance, clarity, and the depth of the color. For those that missed the earlier vlog reference, residue control, when you're spearing your machine polishing pad, microfibers especially, using an airline, fluffs up all the dust into the atmosphere. This is my spurring method, so water on the side of the bucket, spur the pad in the bucket, the dust sticks to the wet side. So this is Tuesday morning, start of the polishing process. There's no dust there currently. I'll report back on Friday to show you how much we've captured and how effective this method actually is. The reason we tape up so much the delicate areas, these edges, these ledges are proud. They overhang. When I'm polishing this, I want to get as close to this edge as possible. As a result, I will be touching this. So without the tape in place, you can chafe, you can burn the edge. It's just a precautionary measure. At the bottom, you want to get as low to the bottom of the cluster as possible without touching the paintwork.
late Tuesday afternoon on the Porsche and we're cutting. Started this morning with the bumpers as usual. I like to get the bumpers cut first. The bumpers, the side skirt, rear light clusters, the engine cover, side strip. Uh, and now we're cutting down the offside. So they've been over the top of the rear wing. The car's wearing different paintwork. So different panels have been painted at different times. Most of which is single stage paint. So the pickup on the pads and the dust in your bucket. There's no clear coat you're polishing. The door is original, the rear quarter has been painted. So this has responded very differently to the door. What I'm gonna show you is the micro marring and the haze I'm leaving behind after the cutting stage on the DA. So the bloomy, white, cloudy, ghostly edge around my light. This shouldn't be here. This is as a result of aggressive polishing. This is the direct replacement of buffer trails. If I was using the rotary polisher, Normally we'd see buffer trails, but the DA doesn't induce buffer trails, it induces marring, which this is. So as we go across, you can see the damage I've lifted out. So these are the scratches and the swirls and the abrasions. Uh, they've been lifted, or the majority of have been lifted. It now needs the refinement stage just to add the gloss, pull the clarity, and restore the true colour before we go on to paint protection. So with the driver's door now cut, I'm just out of interest and I'm going to do a quick refining stage to see if there's a 50-50 actually because again the finish is quite hazy from the compounding. Uh, so I'm going to refine this side and maybe we'll see. You can see the difference. Compounding haze from the digging of the scratches and the removal of the scratches. Uh, and the better clarity gloss and brilliance, which the whole car will be wearing when the rest of the cutting is complete. Thursday morning and a couple of deliveries in today. First one of which a guard's red touch up and a new blow gun to the, the airline and spur in the pads. I'm looking forward to using that on the interior actually. It'll be very useful on air vents and down the sides of the seats and crevices. Courtesy of Fisher Motor Factors, Lincoln. And the second one of which, I think I know what this is. AM details. Any guesses? It is. Jim White, medium. Hashtag more than detailing. What do you think? Nice, not a bad fit. If you don't already follow Alan's work, certainly go and check out their page, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Alan Madcraft, AM Details, I'm in Elgin, Scotland. Detailing service and solutions, car care range. Thanks for the t-shirt dude, speak soon.
As we approach the end of the cutting stage, a quick bucket update for you. Without this system in place, this place would be a nightmare to keep clean. It's still not capturing everything. I'm sure when I sweep up, we'll have a nice sort of red haze coming off the floor. It's at the point now where it's not effective because it's that thick on the sides. So this now will be scraped to the bottom, the sides will be re-wetted and we'll carry on as per. Cutting complete. Now we're now moving on to the refining stages. The vehicle has been blown with the vehicle dryer to remove excess dust and any debris that might be on the surface prior to the refinement starting. And at the same time, the unit's been swept. At this stage, just light the whole thing to be clean as one, ready to go again with the second and final stage. to Friday afternoon. The car is stunning. Almost lost for words, really. The paint correction is complete. Fully refined all the intricate areas, all the delicate bits around the washer jet on the top there, between that and the rubber. Difficult area to access, but all these areas count. Over the top of the A-pillar, across the windscreen and down again, and just the flowingness and the curvaceous body of the car itself. Pretty difficult to navigate with the polisher, so it's sinking into the channel. It's making sure you're getting deep into the, the curve, and again, on the flow here. Some pads can't drop into there, so you've got to work your way around with various options. At this stage, the car has been blown dry. It's been wiped with alcohol to strip the remaining residues and polish from the surface, ensuring it's a squeaky clean, naked base. And we're now about to load up paint protection, glass, wheels, fabric roof, and interior. Really can't wait now to see this one finished. Awesome. The worst thing ever when you see people applying touch-ups with the brush, come on now, it's not a wall, it's a car, too thick. end of the week still yeah still a couple of hours to go in the morning it is 10 past six six o'clock i was supposed to be at a friend's for a social apologies there dave i'll be there as soon as possible just wrapping up the job uh, everything on the car now that needs to be on to cure is on the car the vehicle is being picked up lunchtime tomorrow g10 and crystal serum light on the bodywork i1 smart fabric on the hood g1 clear vision for the glass leather's just been protected with l1 leather guard antibacterial protection the wheels have treated uh start of the week actually uh, and then one or two hours to do in the morning before collection. So final two fickery work with a final wipe down and just generally fettle the car to make sure 
it's all sorted. Uh, I haven't yet shown the interior footage. This was done at the start of the week on day one on Monday, so I'll flick to that next. There might be time for one or two questions for the Q&A, and after that it will be the final footage and the walk around results of the Porsche. water off the cloth having been rinsed off a few times this is just after the plastic so no material no carpets or mats have been scrubbed yet or leather leather is next already the place looks lovely it's a nice place to be you can, it's amazing how much time you can spend on a cabin so you've got the air vents getting inside of each of the slats you've got the toothpickery work you saw on the gear knob digging out 23 years of grime as well as the press button on the belt release Uh, something I've not done in a while, especially on the vlogs, is a leather 50-50. You've seen the cleaning process, it's now dry. You can see this side, which hasn't been touched, feels slippy, it feels shiny. As we go across, it's probably difficult to pick up on camera. Anything under the lights has a bit of a sheen to it. But uh, it's a matte factory finish now. It's fresh, it feels good. This is the colour of a fresh clean wipe, and that's the colour of the dirty one. So it really has poured off a lot of dirt. Just 60 seconds to go through one or two popular questions I'm asked. It's not so much a Q&A. Lots of people are asking what workwear I wear. Engelbert Strauss, currently filthy, red, red. These are Engelbert Strauss also. Steel toe caps, big believer of you get what you pay for. I've been through the B&Q, Snickers and Dickies workwear, combats. I go back to Engelbert Strauss every time. I've got two more pairs on the way as well as some t-shirts. Great stuff. Another question I get are regards the leather wipes I'm using. Dr. Leather Wipes, I'll send you a link below to Elite Car Care, my supplier. Dr. Leather Wipes, nice pH formula. Always test, of course, inconspicuous areas before using. And third and final quick question, I always get asked about the lift. Automotec 7330, it's a three-ton lift, in-floor mechanism. Automotec, again, I'll send you a link down below in the comments. Check it out. 
It's a full height unit, never had any problems. Extensions for the longer vehicles. They do do a 7320, I think now, a mobile on floor lift. Typically you need the race ramps to get the vehicles with low clearance up onto the lift. Whereas with this, of course, it's flush to the floor, so never had any problems. So finally, thank you again for the support. Please like, comment and subscribe. Share the video if you found it useful. Check out the Instagram, see my Facebook, see the links below. Go see Alan AM Details, check him out. A great guy doing some good work up in Elgin, Scotland. Next week is a three day new car prep till Wednesday and then Thursday to Saturday, uh, an enhancement detail with various upgrades and protections on uh, an X3, BMW X3. So until then, take care. Speak soon.